can go wrong. Just so we're all on the same page, I also watch Clash Royale content creators from time to time, and I have my own opinion. Yeah, that's crazy. What? I don't think I'm better than anyone else either, so I'll try my best to avoid criticism. I just wanted to share where I would personally rank people I have watched or watched before. With that being said, there are a few on this list that don't make Clash for your content anymore, but we'll still be ranking them anyways based on what I thought of them before they left. Just out of curiosity, that's all. Okay, you know, chit chat, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Nick at night, bro. Mo and Nick, the best duos in the community. Nick and Knight alone though, he's a very chill guy. I know he had some personal issues going on like last year or something like that, but he's returned and he seems to be doing streams every day. He's very easy to watch in the way that he's relatable, I guess. But honestly, I don't really find gameplay enjoyable to watch unless I'm looking for a good deck or for a challenge to beat or I don't know. I wouldn't say he's one of my favorites right now, so I'm gonna put him in the awesome tier. Legendary. He seems chill, seen a few of his videos a while back. Not the gameplay ones though, I remember watching a few of the uh, guide videos. They used to pop up on my recommended. And even though he doesn't upload much by the looks of it, you can tell he really puts in a great deal of work into one video. Similar to how I upload once a week. Usually. As far as what I've watched, I think he's an awesome content creator. Orange Juice. Okay, OJ is one of my favorite Supercell content creators. I think he has a massive team, so he's able to pump out great quality content every day, which is great. I always say and preach quality over quantity, but OJ having a team of editors, he can create videos that are of quality, but also do this very often. Like I said, every day. I obviously don't watch OJ every day. I don't watch anybody every day. It's probably like once a blue moon, but when I do, he's pretty entertaining. Boss underscore Clash Royale. I don't really know who this is much, but by the looks of his channel, he seems very similar to most pro players. That's not a bad thing. I'm not saying whatever I don't watch isn't good. Just I don't watch that kind of content much and it's going to have to be the don't really watch tier because it wouldn't be fair if I ranked it, you know, molt. Similar to Nick at night, very relaxed guy. I met both of them in Helsinki at the launch of uh, what game was that? Rush Wars. They got great chemistry. I mean, that's pretty obvious. It's unfortunate that they haven't been making the same kind of content together like they used to, but you can argue that it probably got tiring to them or Clash Royale being not as popular as it once was. But yeah, there's a lot of things that could have impacted that. Anyways, Mole is still grinding to this day, but I personally don't like watching just gameplay. So I'm going to go with the awesome tier. Sort of the same thing as Nick and Knight. Chief Pat. I don't think he uploads Clash Royale anymore. He's been doing a lot of Brawl Stars lately. A lot of YouTubers shifted to Brawl Stars around the same time it went global. And Clash Royale wasn't doing so hot at the time either, so it's understandable. I also did the same thing, but I mean, I came back. Honestly though, after around 2017, I stopped watching Pat, but that doesn't mean I didn't once enjoy it. I mean, everyone's watched Pat before. If you play Clash of Clans, don't lie. Taking all that into consideration, I would say he's a good YouTuber at the moment. Cashman TV. He seems like a very cool guy. I'm surprised I've never heard of him before 2022. But that's probably because it seems he remained a relatively small channel up until he found major success in his shorts. And I see why. They're super entertaining and actually that's exactly how I found out about his channel. He might not have the same quality as OJ, but I mean, who does? He's currently one of my favorite Clash Real channels, so I'm gonna have to put him up there with uh, OJ and yeah. Clash with Ash. He's always been one of my favorite for Clash Royale strategy videos. In fact, a few years back, I said he was my favorite Clash Royale YouTuber. I feel like my opinion has changed a bit though, not because Ash has changed, but more like me, like I've changed. The past few years, I've cared a lot less about the meta, what cards are hot or esports. I've slowly turned into a casual player who only cares about having fun and creating content that people enjoy. In 2022, I would put him right around where Nick and Mo are. Eclipse, the clickbait god, <laughs> but a good one. Sometimes. The clickbaits weren't obnoxious most of the time. I mean, you can argue that some of them were just flat out lies, but 
overall, Eclipse had a very huge fan base that would click on most of the videos, even if they knew it was a bit clickbait. And I guess it worked out for him because he had a diehard fan base. I even met him twice in person, and I'm not even kidding, he was supposed to be one of my groomsmen in my wedding before it all got cancelled because of COVID. Anyways, he's been very in and out the past few years, like sometimes he'll stop uploading for months and then other times he'll upload daily. The state of his channel right now, I feel like it's very hard to follow as a fan, but when he does upload, I would say the content is pretty decent. Mix of chaos. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, she's been making content for a while. I remember featuring her in a video I did a while back and I was surprised to check her channel today and she's still making content. But it's unfortunate that after years and years of content, she's still a relatively small channel. She generally sticks to gameplay. Personally, I've stopped watching, but it the same thing I've mentioned for like three of these people, I don't watch gameplay. But if you're looking for another channel that is chill AF in that niche, then that's a good channel. Havoc Gaming. Am I allowed to rank myself? <laughs> Actually, you know, I don't really want to. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm going to leave the link down below for this ranking charts so you guys can do your own. KFC Clash. He has some very interesting videos. Some of it felt like 2017 Mr. Beast mixed with Clash Royale. A mix I'd never thought I'd see and there we have it. Last I heard he was quitting and left the Supercell Creator program. Uh, Interesting. Based on his videos up to that point though, he was pretty entertaining sometimes. Bailey's dad. Okay, another YouTuber I found through shorts and I love his channel. I don't watch every video obviously, but that's the same case for literally everyone I watch. I prefer like science and facts and stuff like that. But yeah, it also felt very new to the community. It reminded me of those videos PewDiePie used to do where he would Photoshop people into random stuff, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? The Clash Royale community has never really had that kind of content, at least not much of it, and so it kind of stood out to me, and he's definitely one of my favorite Clash Royale YouTubers right now. World of Clash. I've seen some of his origin story videos, probably most known for that. If you like Clash Royale lore and stories, then you might like that. But he was also notorious for compiling commercials from Supercell and uploading them as movies that kind of stuff just rubbed me up the wrong way it's just like they're not movies <laughs> taking all of that into consideration i'd say he's in the a tier he's not all bad if you like i said really like those lore and story videos then you'd probably enjoy it ben tim one ben tim went a while without uploading clash royale but he recently made a return for it and he's killing it like in a good way obviously <laughs> you can tell he's trying to produce more than just gameplay videos and that's always good to see i'm sure it's doing his channel well and keeping his fans happy but majority of his videos are brawl stars if i were to rank his channels based on just his clash real videos i would say he's good at what he does retrex Probably one of the worst clickbaiters ever. And I'm not even talking about Eclipse level of clickbait where it was actually entertaining. I'm talking like milking your viewers for whatever their clicks are worth. Every click mattered to him. It didn't matter if you watched the video, it was just about clicking the video. Luckily, he doesn't upload nowadays. I actually made this tier just for him. So there you have it. The reason I included him though is because it gives me an opportunity to throw shade at him. This guy stole content from me and... <laughs> I got no mercy. But yeah, what else can I say? He doesn't upload anymore, so uh, let's move on. Tribe Gaming. Not really a single person, but the channel in general is pretty entertaining. It's not all Clash Royale, in fact most of it is Brawl Stars, but they do throw in a little bit of Clash Royale every now and then. I wouldn't say they're one of my favorite channels though, but I definitely think they're awesome and I like what they're doing. The combination of all the YouTubers and seeing them have fun in the game is, is what makes it pretty entertaining for me. Okay, I didn't write this down, but I wanted to mention Olong Johnson. Olong Johnson. Bob, the person running my Discord, suggested that I add him to the list. I believe he hasn't uploaded Clash Reel in years, so yeah. But one thing I will say, if you want to have a good laugh, like montages and funny moments from Clash Reel, this is the channel. You just gotta go back to his old videos and watch them. He was one of my favorite YouTubers, so I'm gonna put him in the favorite. Just keep in mind, he doesn't make content anymore, so yeah. Night Owl. His channel is super humble, and you can tell he loves what he does. 
I first found out his channel from the days when he used to literally build buildings from Clash Royale, which I thought was very cool and I even featured him in an old video that I did. I would say Night Owl is a good channel and I feel really bad for putting him that low, but I just don't enjoy gameplay only videos anymore and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in that. But if you're looking for just straight gameplay from a very humble guy just having fun with his family, this is the channel. Super nice dude, I met him in Helsinki as well. It, yeah, all around good vibes. Synergy. I've seen some of his content a few times, though it's a bit too clickbaity and most titles were greatly exaggerated. Yes, were, because it looks like he stopped uploading Clash Royale and transitioned to a finance channel. The finance stuff looks okay, but based on where he left off on the Clash Royale content, it was just, eh. I wouldn't say it was all bad though. Surgical Goblin. I remember making this meme about him. <laughs> it was like two years ago. I'm sorry, Surgical. I think I disliked him for a bit there. Honestly, I don't really remember what it was about, but that's in the past. I don't care anymore. I never really watched his videos though. I just know he's a pro player. I'm sure he's a good content creator, but I haven't seen any of his videos, so I'll have to put him in the don't really watch tier. Clash with Shane. I don't really watch Shane much, but as far as what I've seen, his channel was similar to that of Clash with Ash. If you're looking for content creators showcasing great decks and talks on the meta, these two channels are great for that. I know that he has a lot to offer in terms of skills and tips, so I'm going to put him at the very beginning of good. Clash with Cam. Cam stopped uploading Clash Royale like four years ago. In fact, in his last few Royale videos, he explained he wasn't enjoying the game much and it really showed. If this were a Clash of Clans ranking and we were going based on nostalgia from his older videos, this would be a different situation. But where he left off, he wasn't bad. He was just better before. I think he's doing content in another channel that's doing way better than Clash with Cam, so yeah, good on him. It's really nice seeing people transition to something completely unrelated and find success in that topic. That's very hard to do. Sir Tag Clash Royale. I have definitely heard of him in the esports scene, but I've never really watched his videos. By the looks of it though, his channel looks like a decent place to get decks and actually good gameplay. But that's simply judging by his thumbnails and like watching one video, so that's not enough to judge the entire channel. I'm gonna put him at the don't really watch tier. Be rad. Honestly had zero clue what kind of content he made up until recently. I did know who he was though. His videos are not like every other gameplay video out there. At least that's what I've seen. They're pretty entertaining and there's usually a lot more than just gameplay. Like the videos always have an interesting topic, something to look forward to. And it's not just, hey, watch me play this deck. It's like a perfect combination of both entertainment and gameplay. He's definitely one of the more awesome creators that I've come across lately. Clash on Gan. Man, I used to be buds with Clash on Gan. Times change though, and you lose communication with some people, you know? I first saw one of his videos in maybe 2014. His Clash Royale videos though, I think he started to produce content that he thought would work, but didn't. In other words, I think he bore his audience out producing videos that felt like a repeat of the past 20 videos. I'm not criticizing him, I just think that he went down the wrong path when it came to content creation, and I understand that as a mistake. He was never a bad YouTuber, and he's actually a really nice person, but if he were still making videos today, I'd say they, uh, they're not bad. Colton W83. I have...